Yai, you go watch Caterpillar Man 3, The Emergence. No thanks. You sure? I heard he finally evolves to become a butterfly this time. Yeah, I'm just not up for it today. Is something wrong? Well, I've just been thinking a lot since it's Lent. Thinking about what? We're supposed to reflect, right? About our thoughts and how we can be better. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been thinking about all the times that I haven't been very nice. Whoa, <laughs> see, Jerry, I came up with a song for you. Messy, 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 Jerry. See, he messy, yes, he's very. He's the love of God. Maybe the guitar isn't suitable for you. Do you want to have no fear? No, 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 you're disturbing the peace. <laughs> Joy, those things happened like so long ago. Yeah, but they are still things that I did. But you shouldn't let them affect you. Why not? Should the things I've done weigh me down and hold me to the floor? They've got me feeling really down and I'm thinking about them more. And more. Do you ever think about things you did a long time ago and feel ashamed of them? I'm sure some of us have felt that way. How do you keep from letting them get you down? We'll find out soon. First, how about we get our pencils out and draw something? Now let's see if Joy is able to let go of those bad feelings she has. The mistakes you've done, will you do them again? I would try not to. See, you've changed, like Caterpillar Man. I guess, but it doesn't change the things that I did. Well, if you keep thinking about the past, you'll never be able to move on. You're right. Do you ever get embarrassed by the things you've done? Mm, sometimes, but I know I can't go back and do things differently. So you just move on? Well, I try not to make the same mistakes again, just like you do, and that makes me feel better. God doesn't make mistakes, does he? No. Won't he judge me because I make so many mistakes? Of course not. In this week's Gospel, Jesus meets a Samaritan woman at a well. Jesus was Jewish, and Jewish people weren't supposed to talk to Samaritans. Furthermore, this woman was living in sin and must have been taken aback by someone approaching her like Jesus did. But Jesus didn't care about where she was from or what she had done. He treated her with respect and revealed to her that he is the Messiah. We see this not just here, but all over the Gospels. Jesus sat with sinners people who society looked down on and reached out to them with love and mercy. In this season of Lent, let's try to be like Jesus and treat our neighbors with that same love, whoever they may be. Jesus really doesn't look at our past? As long as we are sorry, he's willing to forgive anything. So he just looks at us as we are today? I mean, that's who you are, right? 
I mean, if you looked at any of us on our worst days, I think we can't get into heaven. Ha, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's true. If God doesn't forgive us, then we wouldn't be worthy. But he does forgive. Thank God. Thank him. Yeah, it's a gift that we've been given. The fact that we can just ask for forgiveness and move on. That does make me feel better. Yeah, we get to change every day because of God and not worry about the past. Like a caterpillar girl bursting out of my cocoon. Feels okay to go now? Yeah, boy, let's go. The sins I've done, I've said sorry for, and I know that He'll forgive. He frees me of the guilt I feel, so I can move on and grow and live. That's right! There's nothing you can do to make Jesus stop loving you. While we may not be worthy of his love, he showers us with it anyway, so that we can let go of our mistakes and grow closer and closer to him each day. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. See you next week. Let his love complete you. Oh, nothing can defeat you if you live the love of God. Live the love of God. Live the love of God. Live, love. Live the love of God. Live, love. Live the love of God. Live, love. Live the love of God.